right, guys. So we're back out here looking for some bighorn sheep. Now, I know yesterday you realized that there's probably no bighorn sheep. Well, I figured that out too the hard way. I searched for about an hour and a half real time, and I couldn't even find one sheep track. And then I reset like two or three times, and I still couldn't even find one track. So now I officially heard that sheep can be found on timber gold trails. So I'm going to be hunting for them with my reverse draw crossbow and I have tracer arrows with me. So hopefully we can get one. All right, here we go. Now from what I hear, these bighorn sheep are very finicky. So they'll spook very easy. And I think it's important to come in from the top and always try and stay above them. That way you can try and find them before they find you. So right now I'm spawned in at um, my kind of northwest tent over here. Right here I spawned. My goal is to kind of work my way over towards this direction here. And uh, as you can see, these are my other tents I have set up. This is a really good spot for elk. These two spots. This is a good spot for mule deer. And this is a good spot for elk as well. But right now I'm trying to find some bighorn sheep, which are supposed to be here, here, or even here. All right guys, so we've been walking for a little while now. And I just saw a flash of a sheep down over here. I'm pretty sure it popped out of my room. Oh, there he, there he is. Oh, look at There's a bunch of them. So it looks like these are all females. But I'm very happy. This is my first sighting of any sign of sheep whatsoever. Look at that. So it looks like we found a group of females. Pretty neat. So I really want to get a nice big ram. So we're going to keep moving on and uh, try and find a different area where maybe there's only some males. All right, guys. So we finally just kicked up a big male sheep. I believe it's a male. And I hear him walking right in front of me. So I think he's going to be like right in front of me. Anyways, we saw a female sheep. And so I kept walking because I wanted to find a male. And then I saw something dark and pretty big off in the distance running. And I looked at it and it looked like a man. Oh, right there. Look at that. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, my God. Look at the horns on that thing. So you can tell he's kind of spooked. And he's about 30 meters away. So I didn't want to take that shot because he could spook very easily and he still spooked because when I kicked him up he uh you know he ran quite a ways so if I if I got out with my impulsor he would have definitely probably spooked but I'm gonna sneak up a little closer here I have a really good wind it's pushing in my face so hopefully I can get on this rock and get some decent shot on them. Apparently I can't get up this rock. There he is, I see him. I see him, I see him. So he's... Oh, he was right there. He just bolted. Did not want that to happen. I did not want that to happen. But he bolted. Now we gotta go find him. He ran off into this thick stuff over here. All right, so we found my big ram. There he is out there. 
Look at that thing. Wow. There's a female trotting over there. She's stuck. But um, I'm perched up on this rock here. And I think I have some pretty good wind. I do. I have some really good wind. So I could take a long shot. But I think what I want to do is get over a little bit to the left. That way I can have a perfect wind shot. Yeah, if he gets within 100 meters, I can take that shot. Perfect wind. He's right at 100 meters, guys. All right, we're gonna take the shot. Oh, crazy, of course he turns. Stop. Just drilled him. Oh my God, we hit him good. He's definitely intestine hit. Awesome. <sighs> Might have got lungs on it. It looks like a long shot. I don't know. Might be. A oh my god. Oh, I thought he was gonna go down. He's definitely hurt. Yeah, I spent a long time trying to get one of these bighorn sheep. And I finally got one hit. That was awesome. Guys, he just laid down. My bighorn sheep is down. My first one ever. That means I think I hit liver. I think I made a liver shot on him. Look at that. There he is. Look at that. Our first bighorn with the reverse draw crossbow. Wow. Yep, stomach shot. 146 for my first one. I'm very happy with that. And it looks like I just missed the liver. So at least we got stomach on that. And he was only alive for three minutes. Wow. That was a fun hunt. Oh, that's pretty cool there. Oh, that's awesome. My first bighorn sheep. With the reverse draw. All right, well now that we got our first bighorn sheep out of the way with the crossbow, Let's go see if we can try and find another big one. Okay guys, so I found another ram. And see there he is there, you can just see the top of his head. He's not a very big one, but I might take him with my bow. I'm not sure yet. Um, so I wanted to tell you how I think the best way to find these is. So what I've been doing is just walking and apparently they're super spooky. So what happens is I'll see them spook off in the distance and then I'll go over and pick up the track and then I track them. I mean, you could crouch the whole time, but I feel like I've been seeing a lot more animals now that I've been walking, covering more ground. Now I usually spook them, but like I said, you just track them and here you can see the uh, ram out in front of me here. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna try and take them with my camo pulser. And he's kind of walking this way right now. So if he keeps walking this way, it might work out pretty good. So he's got to be over here, but I can't see him. There he is. Drilled him.
first bighorn sheep with my camo pulsar. And we got another track here to follow after that. Wait, is this a different one? This is not the same track that I had. But it's definitely the same one. So it scores 86. Left lung, stomach, and intestine. Pretty cool trophy shot too. Guys, we just found a giant ram. This thing is huge. Oh my god. Look at the size of that thing. So what happened is, I was just over here looking for, uh, and I saw this, this female sheep, and then I saw this thing off in the distance. What a giant. So I want to check the wind. The wind is not bad, actually. Um, he might be too big to take with my camel pulsar, to be honest. I really just want to get one in him with my reverse draw. Unless he happens to come down this way, which that would be great too. I do believe I have a tent up on top up there. So he's 95 meters. I could take that shot. Stopped right there. I think I might take that shot. Oh my god, I shot right over him. So, he must not be 90 yet. Alright, we're gonna aim low. Drilled him! Just drilled him right in the neck. Oh my god, that thing's huge. Look at all these females around here. So that's what happened. I first saw all these females, and that's when I started thinking, oh, well, I guess there's no, uh, no big ones around and I just kind of like stopped looking and then I looked I kind of glanced off to my left here and on this mountain I saw the horn the, the horns on the thing look like it looked like a tree they were just so wide so I know this is going to be a monster bighorn sheep <sighs> wow look at the size of that thing I drilled him right in the front shoulder after missing him like once or twice, but that's all right. Let's see what this huge thing scores. 161. That's a monster. I got shoulder blade and neck bone at 87 meters. Wow, that is a giant bighorn sheep. Yeah, apparently it shoots a little bit high at 90 meters, but that's all right. There's our giant ram. There we go. All right, guys, I got him just how I want him now. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. And now you know you can hunt bighorn sheep with a bow. Well, the reverse draw crossbow works excellent. And also, um, the camo pulsar works good if you can get close enough to where you have cover then uh, you'll be alright. But other than that, thanks for watching and enjoy your sheep hunt. Alright, see you next time.